welcome back to our channel. Hello. We're all in the car today, both yeah. girls packed up. We are off to my parents. We're packed so up and shipped off. We're not going on holiday, we've just come back from holiday. The house is an absolute... Oh, actually, it's not. The house itself isn't an absolute mess. We just have our hallway, which currently has three suitcases open. Uh, overflowing. Because we haven't unpacked yet, and yet we need things from the suitcase. So we're just there, like, rummaging through the suitcase several times. I know. Uh, it's just getting worse and worse. We've just packed up and left this morning, and yeah. it just feels good um, to get away from the mess. So we're off to my parents. Amber's going to my parents today, and we are off for, like, a little cup of tea and a morning catch-up with them um, after holiday because it's a long time when we don't see our parents in a week because we see them all the time well we did see my parents the whole time we the did holiday. they were on holiday with us but we are seeing them again tomorrow um so yeah good morning welcome to the vlog then we're off to the fixer upper very exciting day we today got, we're trying to get back to it today aren't we yeah so like you know the washings and the unpacking is taking a backwards stroke we'll do that tomorrow she hasn't seen Nani in a long time for her <gasps> Nani, I miss you <laughs> so we've dropped Amber off, we're waiting for our Starbucks order, cheeky Starbucks breakfast and drink to start the day and we're off to the Fixer Upper. I thought I would do outfit of the day today. So we've got the cute sandals, these are from Deichmann, catwalk sandals, they're out of stock guys, the beige ones too. I keep asking them when are they coming back in stock? I don't think they are, which just makes me want to cry. I've had those since last year. This is my little lippy as well. I Thank lost this you. lip colour for ages and I've just like, re you know when you read? Uh, no, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, guys, I went for the, sorry, just trying to do 5 million things at once here, but I went for, I mean, look what it's called. The Sugar Oat Perfect. Shaken Espresso. Thank you. Bye. Could Signature you roll. The I know. Of the day. Why do I pick an, to do an outfit of the day when we're picking up these when I've got like a whole journey now which i could talk to you guys about it in signature rolls from starbucks mm, so good and then we saw literally on the picture board as i went in iced blonde brown sugar oat shaken espresso no <laughs> it said oat i'm obsessed with oat milk in my coffees let me just try it and tell you if it's good mm. oh my god you would literally throw up <laughs> if you tried it i think i had one of those before it's so sweet i think i had one of those before did I? Yeah. God, I need to get it every time. Oh, I need to get it every time. Mm. That is literally sugar in a cup. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Is there any coffee in there? If, I don't, it's probably I like, it, it says espresso, so it's probably like that much coffee. It's usually espresso comes in like a small cup, but that is just big because the rest of it's just creamy sugar. Yes, yeah, so what was I saying? You know when you find a new old lippy? Like I used to wear this a lot and then I haven't found it, like haven't had it in ages. And then I found it this morning. And I was like, oh, I'll put it on. And then I remembered that it stays on so well compared to like when I usually just, the wind. This is why I hate the wind. Do you like me to shut your window, darling? Okay, you're shut the window. Side. Hey, look how fancy that is. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Yeah, anyway, I found a new lip, my old new lippy and I'm loving it again. It's not coming off when I'm drinking and eating, which is just great. Then we've got, bodysuit vibes today from I haven't tried this brand before but it's someone I know who owns it and it's new, called new nude I think um, and yeah it's really really nice so I've gone for the shapewear bodysuit which just seems to be a thing at the moment all over the TikTok shapewear bodysuit outfits I'm loving it I've got my Gymshark shorts on these are the pocket shorts because look a girl needs pockets a girl needs a pocket I've got a pocket in the blazer blazer is from ASOS we've got the little bag bags from Mango and pockets in the shorts because I am thinking I'm about to come on my period because I am in one of those moods where everything is annoying me and if I don't have five million pockets somewhere to put my phone keys anything else that I need to put in any other place I'm gonna scream That's so annoying, it? yeah I'm in one of those moods I'm just getting annoyed by everything so it's okay everything's gonna be fine I've got pockets everywhere there's it's no all need good. to scream right now <laughs> not right now there will be a mood a reason in five seconds. So yeah, Mabel's sleeping in a car seat. We're having our breakfast while we're on the way to fix her up. Last time we vlogged, I think we were really excited to see the roof light and it wasn't quite in. It wasn't quite in and we were so gutted, but we know it's in now. So we're gonna yeah. go and show you guys the roof light and we are kind of like a finalizing kitchen layout, aren't we? Because we're ordering the kitchen. I'm so excited. So we're coming on into the fixer upper. Fixer upper. My friend who's moving into here is actually moving out of her 
house in literally a few days time so it's starting to feel really real now and then I come in here and it looks like this but I feel like it is like this and then all of a sudden it just all comes together that the roof lies what we've been roof waiting to see, see. Whoa. there it is oh that looks so nice that's so exciting yeah that looks really really nice and that I love just it. Adds so much depth as well to the ceiling height. I know it's massive. It's so cool. It's beyond like the, the normal ceiling height is huge in this house. I know I keep going on about it, and then it just adds like it's mm. absolutely huge. I didn't even really notice that they've like stripped all that. What has even been done here? It's just like they just stripped it back. Stripped it right back. Space, I think. Ooh, it's so strange. Yeah. Ooh, it really is coming all apart. But yeah, we are literally ordering the kitchen. Oh, I just love exposed brick. I just wish you could keep it like this, but. It's not really. It's not really like how it works. As well. It's always the small things that take off. Yeah. Over. You can see because the new boiler is going to go up here. It's going here. Oh. So they've been running all the. Look at this. So it's oh, yeah. Through. It's all going through the ceiling as well. Like it's yeah. all kind of like everything's. Yeah. yeah. It's all the stuff that you just don't notice really. Hello, Smiley. Have you just woken up? Hello. It's just me and you now. It's just me and you, Mabes. So one of the guys just popped in to, and James has just popped off with him in the van because my friend who's moving into here literally lives down the road and because she's like moving out within the next few days, we just decided that we would collect the washing machine and bring it straight over here so we can fit it in to the washing machine. It's actually going in a fitted cupboard by here. But yeah, one of the guys has just gone with James in the van, so they're gonna go and pick up her washing machine now. Um, it's all go, 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 guys. I'm waiting here for Chloe, and then we're gonna chat through kitchen. But yeah, basically, I'll pop up now uh, the CAD images of the kitchen, which is going by here. Now, ignore like the design of like the tiles and everything like that. This is literally just the layout of the kitchen. Um, and so yeah, it's literally gonna kind of come round in like a U shape and have like a kind of island peninsula with some bar stools. And yeah, we just love how it's designed and we love like the kind of openness where we're gonna have like shelves and then we're doing this um, sort of MDF customized uh, extractor fan hood. I'm just gonna have all like matching paneling. It doesn't show it in the CAD, I don't think, but it's gonna have like matching paneling and kind of like features that'll match with the rest of the kitchen. So it'll feel like very kind of like custom and built in. I'm honestly jealous, guys. I wanna put this kitchen in my house. I'm obsessed. This is why I've loved doing this so much. I feel like all the ideas that I have up in my head that I've like found on Pinterest, I've just been like, putting into this house and I'm just so excited for it to all come together. But yeah, me and Mabel are just waiting for Chloe. Hi, Gilly. Hi, Gilly. Are you okay? Are you okay? Did you have a nice nap? Yeah, you are munching on those hands, aren't you? You are. You're a muncher. Scrummy girl. Ah. <laughs> I feel like in the last holiday vlog, hi, I was saying that she was hardly babbling and then ever since then, I'm not sure if it's because we've started <laughs> singing nursery rhymes and stuff to her like so much more, just like we did with Amber. We've been really trying to make the time because I was basically saying in that video that we like hardly had time. Like it's just like classic with your second baby. You don't have time to just literally sit in their face and sing nursery rhymes to them 24 seven, which is what we did with Amber. We've been like trying to make so much more effort to be like any moment we have with her on her own, be like, oh, McDonald had a farm. And look, she's babbling. Oh. oh, are you talking? You like your songs, don't you? Babies just love singing. Like, I knew that, I knew that from like having Amber, but I forgot how much they love it. Oh, yeah? You're telling me a story? You also love your black and white toys, don't you? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Whoa. No way. <laughs> so cute. But like I said, it kind of goes in phases. Like, they, they have phases where they... <laughs> babble loads and they don't so I feel like as you can tell I just overthink everything I think every parents do wow wow that's been you non-stop hasn't it chatty chatterbox I tell you what something else I'm also obsessed with in this house are these wooden window frames they are beautiful they literally surround these whole windows and I cannot wait like they, they're such a like unusual colour at the moment, they're like an orangey red, but I feel like if we sand them back, they could just be like a stunning, and especially like the windowsill as well, like it's so rare to kind of find wood 
surrounds around the window and have the windowsill as like not a UPVC windowsill, which is like what we've got in our house and what so many houses have. I just think it adds such a like quality touch when they've got wood. The roof lights in and the next thing to come in is the bifold doors, which I'm so excited about because those are UPVC, but we've gone for like custom sort of designed ones they're like french doors so they're not so and like we kind of designed the like lines down them because i love that like detailing in it and i think it'll just go really nicely with the whole like kind of shaker style paneled kitchen and everything like that hello you last time in the vlog i think mabel was getting a house tour of the shoot location that we were at for my photo shoot my bikini shoot now she's getting a house tour of the fixer upper guys we're off while we wait for chloe we're gonna do a house tour aren't we we're gonna go and see what we can find shall we yeah so the bathroom as well, I don't know um, if you guys saw, well for anyone who missed the kind of updates video we did, this line here is where the bathroom used to, the wall of the bathroom used to be and we pushed it out just a small amount into this room, which you literally didn't notice. It, oh it's lovely, it's been all plastered. I just love the floors up here as well, like we're just sanding them down and kind of staining them which is gonna look stunning i'm so excited oh it's been all freshly plastered it looks so nice god like everything's just coming together we've done the plastering up there we <laughs> no chloe's team we've done the plastering up there we've done the plastering in here so oh, you can see mabel in a shadow hello <laughs> me and mabel um, so we finished the house tour me and mabel we just come back to the start and i was just standing in this like porchway thinking about what i could do because they've got some plastic paneling by here which i actually really like the look of and then the whole door so the door itself is actually black there which you can see like the gold hinges and the black door um, and then the upvc surround here is obviously just white and this whole panel is white so i'm thinking we could do some like nice spray it all black or something and get like i don't know do like an olive paneling like something could look really smart so we're going to clean up these tiles as well these are really cool i love these they're like the original tiles and we're cleaning up the original tiles in the house as well and restoring those that's why i'm just standing here having a little think while i wait for chloe oh, me and mabel are uh, just sat on the dusty the dusty extension step <laughs> getting my outfit completely ruined but you know gotta do what you gotta do to feed the baby um, I did attempt to stand and feed her, but she wasn't feeling it. She wanted, you know, a nice sit-down feed. <laughs> so we're sat down on the mucky wall. But gotta do what you gotta do for these babies, eh? So we've just gotten home. Let's <laughs> do... <laughs> Um, I feel like I need a proper outfit appreciation clip because I'm just loving the outfit today. It's got the comfy vibes with also the blazer chic vibes, you know? Look at it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so yes, but now we're home, so I'm going from blazer chic into I'm just gonna throw. Blazer chic. Oh my, stop it. I love it. From blazer chic to lazy chic. I'm just gonna keep this on because this is the comfy and then throw on a jumper or something over the top. Not that you guys care, just giving you all the details here. So I went for linen shirt over the outfit vibes. We've got our cups of tea. We are literally spending, we're having a boring rest of the day doing admin at our laptops. Um, James is, I don't know where he's gone, but we're gonna make some lunch and literally sit at our laptops for the rest of the day, catch up on all the admin. Um, and I'm doing some editing as well. I'm just editing today's outfit. You can see that's from today's outfit. This is my TikTok that I filmed earlier. My my Instagram, because um, I'm trying to do that. Where is it? There's the finished look. Ta-da! I'm doing that thing on Instagram, the trying not to wear leggings in an outfit every single day challenge, which I started 20, by the time this video goes up, like 35 days ago and i've been doing it ever since guys for 35 days i have not worn leggings and a jumper leggings and a t-shirt like i've had to think about all my outfits i'm wearing new materials different things that i just didn't think that i could feel comfortable in just even on like chill days it's just i don't know why it's just been really helping me find like my confidence again with what i feel good in and yeah just like trying new styles and just finding my feet with fashion again it just i'm loving it and i'm loving it so much and i'm trying to share as many outfits as i can daily over on my instagram and like my tiktok and places like that uh but yeah that's what we're doing for the rest of the day doing our admin sitting on our laptops very boring okay my lovely audience this is what we've been doing all afternoon practicing our performance for you guys with our new instruments 
Which one should I? Are you going to do this one? No, I'm doing that one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm lost now because I practiced on that one. I did not do that. We've got a last minute change of the performance and I'm not prepared for Wheels of the Bat on this. <laughs> <laughs> sorry? I'm sorry you. You told I told you! <laughs> I should have done a favorite call the last minute. Let me practice wheels on the bus on that, and now what am I gonna do on here instead? Guys, I'm ready. I don't know it on here. <laughs> later good morning yes. James hello <laughs> we've recovered recovered from our mini breakdown last night oh that was fun wasn't it have I got a story for you I'm gonna wrap it up quick because you know I can babble we are on our way to James's parents at the moment because guys um, so yesterday we basically got this massive contract that we need to go through back and forth like it's a really important one it's for something really exciting that could be happening in the future but it's one of those contracts where you like you need to get down to the nitty gritty and am I going to do it? No, I'm not. I'm going to be posting in Scrub Stories instead. This is what this guy's for. This, and this his, is literally what I'm for. Though, this is the only thing he's for. Because I ain't going to be posting in Scrub Stories. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Darling, you haven't logged into your Instagram account for about a year now. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> Wasted. Um, Wasted talents. <laughs> Not they're so talent. talented at posting Instagram stories. No. Like, they're just so engaging and interesting. They weren't. You're not, miss <laughs> you're, not miss you're not missing anything. So yeah, James's mum is a retired solicitor. So she does Whoa, like all our contact. Semi. Semi. Oh semi god, yeah, she is. She's semi-retired. She's she's actually working more now. Um, not than she used to, but like she's picking up picking up the days. She loves it. Anyway, she does our contracts. Um, so James and his mum slogged all day yesterday. He left the house, he left the kid chaos. Very rarely do we individually get left with both the kids, so it's yeah. always a nice shock. Yeah. Um, so I had the kids all day and well, the dog. I, I was of, doing only ever get left with them for what an hour and a half. Two yeah, hours yeah. Because of Mabel. Oh yeah, I've never left you with two actually, because I, I feed Mabel only in the mornings. Sometimes you. No, have I know, but like not for a full day. Oh goodness me! Because no. obviously yeah. I have to feed Mabel every two hours. Um, so yeah, I had the kids all day. I had the hectic, you know, walk to the park with the dog, the toddler, the I baby. Know why you did that. It was great. I was like, can I have walk with yeah. Taylor this evening after they go to bed? And I wanted like, to do it, Superman. Look, I actually found it less stressful with one of us because when there's two of you, you rely on each other. Then you get annoyed when you're like, did you bring a banana? You didn't bring a banana. Who, why didn't you think about a snack? Did you bring this? You didn't bring, when it's just you, you know you've got to think of every yeah. single thing. You've got to cover all the bases. And boy, oh boy, did I. I had bags, bum bags, stuff stuffed in the bottom of the pram. I had the little thing that Amber was on on the back. And also what I was saying to James, which I actually thought, sorry, I said I was going to keep this short. What I actually thought was really good about being on your own is when there's two of us, say Amber's like going on her little boogie board on the back of the pram. If she's like, oh, I want to get off, we'll be like, okay, you can walk with daddy. This time I'm like, sorry, Amber, mummy's on her own. You have to stay on it. And she's like, okay, cool. And stays on it. Why do we overcomplicate cool, yeah. it? No children. Oh, she's good. like, okay, mum, should have just said, babe, I'll stay here. <laughs> it's like the kids look good as gold. 
you know what? It's just a one-off thing. I know that. If I had to have them on my own for more than one day in a row, then I'd be passing out and rocking in the corner. So I am not saying that it's <laughs> easier because it's not. But I think every I now and then... that when you're on your own, you I'm prepare. such a better dad. Yes, I know. Because you, you focus. You do. And not only that, like you said, you don't go on your phone. Yeah. You don't like go and take long toilet breaks sitting on your phone. Yeah. Then. So anyway, I didn't actually say, <laughs> say what we were on, what I was on about. The story was that out all day, boom, 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 amazing, done it, you know, me and mum have been working hard, gets home, goes to open the pages document, which they have been working on, and he's crossed it off without saving. Like, how have I done that? I, I crossed it off, because I hate having things open on my laptop, so I opened it to do something else, and I'm not used to having, like, doing anything on my laptop, like I'm used to doing everything online, I don't want to know. on like Google Docs and stuff, so I don't know why I did it on my laptop, and then I just closed it off, and you know when it quickly pops up, and I'm just such a quick person, oh, I was save. like, do you want to save or delete, and I was like, delete, I know, and then after I did it, I was like, oh my goodness, that's the document, <laughs> that's what I've been doing, and seriously, we tried everything, we tried we got uh, I've downloaded so we've many viruses downloaded things. trying to like get these things that find James the did the stupid thing sorry James no. I hate you the stupid thing we two, he turned his laptop off thinking that if he restarted it just Something never do that if you lose anything never do anything apparently this is what I've read up now I'm an expert in backing up files don't do anything as soon as you realize you've forgotten it try and restore it because the more you do on your laptop the more it writes over files that aren't like that are, are there in the background but aren't there do you get me and it so was anyway, there and i was trying to click on it it was there opening. it was untitled and i thought maybe if i turn my laptop off and back on i'll no. be able to click on it and it's still there Could and do. i can't click on it i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on it's there it's called untitled <laughs> anyway um uh, we've learned something new. Mac apparently has a time machine thing, which is so of cool. It does. And like, but what they don't do is, unless you like proper look into it yourself, tell you it's there. And it's not turned on. And it's not turned on. So it's not turned on anyway. Go turn your time machine on. We probably still haven't even turned ours on because you never learn from these things, even though you think that you will. Never ever going to do it again. Ever ever ever. And you just do. I'm just going to stop say, doing things on my computer. It's all on the cloud. <laughs> I'm just gonna do everything online. Google Docs is my friend. <laughs> yes, I know. Google Docs is so good. It saves so quickly. I know. Anyway, we've had the breakdown. I've got We're the auto smiling save again. As well. so yes, I know. Well done. You've got your auto save on. Yeah. So that's where we're going this morning to James's parents. Me, I'm gonna play with Amber with the toys, and James is gonna work with his mum in it the office. Take anywhere near as long. Yeah, they've got their individual notes. It's not quite as bad as we originally yeah. thought, and they're just gonna bring them together. Bless James's mum. She was up <laughs> clearly last night or early this morning writing more things out because she sent James over email, yeah. emailed over James over this document. She's like, uh, uh, you just know ah, her personality. She, loves it. she does, but she would have been stressed all night. I wish I hadn't. I we didn't tell her. We didn't tell her. I tried to block her from my Instagram story, but I couldn't find the block feature. I feel like they've removed it, but you can, you used to be able to like block individual people from your story. I was like, I need yeah. to block her from my story because I was asking for people for help for losing a pages file. And then she saw it and she was like, what? What's happened? Is that our document? <laughs> Please don't say it is. Anyway, stress over. It's all going to be fine. We're going there now. Good morning. <laughs> that was a very long story. Hello, cutie. Hello, cutie. Hi! Hello! Hello! You're very happy. You're looking at Mummy's finger. Hello, baby girl. Hello, Mabel. Hello, you. Hello, Mabel. We love you. I tried to work this out. Yeah. It took me nearly an hour and a half. <laughs> I thought, how can I do a figure? <laughs> You've done it really good, because can you do different configurations? Oh, yeah, obviously you can I, do I as many. Have a box full of yeah. Time. Woo! James, we are <laughs> Hello. We are home now and James is currently mowing the lawn, hence his little mower. <laughs> oh, my is falling over. Yeah. Oh he's got his mower. Here he goes. <laughs> oh. Amber literally loves it. She loves it so much. She hasn't done much mowing lately. No, she got bored. She got bored.
got bored of the chores. We are home. Let me just set this up. So guys, welcome to prepping to cook with a toddler with me. I'm prepping our HelloFresh meal. We're gonna have like an early dinner tonight with Amber. She's currently napping. Both babies are napping. So I'm basically, I like to prep the meal. So for example, like I'll do a, like little bowls of things so she can help me pour because toddlers just have no patience. Um, so yeah, this is our HelloFresh meal. You guys know we've been working with HelloFresh for a long time now and we are obsessed. Every, like since Mabel has arrived, Every night that we've been home, most nights we have eaten HelloFresh, and I, I know I said this before, but it has made the biggest difference to us when it comes to... <laughs> That's Mila, barking at James's lawnmower. Have I gotten black things on there? Oh no. Where does that come from? I have no idea what that is. Some sort of makeup, and it's smudging everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah, it has made the biggest difference to us when it comes to takeaways. We literally hardly get any takeaways now. Hello Fresh is to thank for that. And I know I was talking on the holiday vlog as well about how we're trying to do less processed foods, like more fresh foods. And one thing that is our constant of that is Hello Fresh. And as always, they have a really good discount code which they've given us, um, which is just if you haven't used Hello 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 Fresh, <laughs> Hello Fresh before, and you're a new customer, it is such a good discount code to give Hello Fresh a go. Today we are having the cloud top chicken pie with sun dried tomatoes, peas, and cheddar. HelloFresh have actually teamed up with Disney and Pixar on their new movie, Elemental, which is coming out on the 7th of July. It looks so good. I can't wait to watch it. And they basically have, HelloFresh have eight new, like limited edition meals that are inspired by Elemental, the elements. The four elements, let me remember them. Fire, air, water, earth. I'm impressed with myself. So last night we had a herb chicken, like breaded chicken, it was insane. And that was part of Earth's like little range. And then today is our cloud topped chicken pie, um, which is <laughs> part of the air like inspired meals. I'm just loving this whole elemental elements vibe. So if you sign up to HelloFresh through July, you get the element inspired meals, which I just think are great. So I'm gonna prep this now for when Amber wakes up, we can do cooking together and Wow, I'm really expressionate with my hands today. When I'm wakes up, we can do cooking together. I've got my discount code. So the discount code is James Karras. So not James and Karras, just James Karras this time. Um, and that's for 60% off your first box plus your next two months plus free gifts. So yeah, James Karras, you've got the QR code on the screen. You can use the code and we'll have the link in the description as well. Thank you so much, HelloFresh. We love working with you. We love working, cooking, eating HelloFresh. <laughs> Um, right, I'm gonna crack on. So I've prepped it as much as I really need to. Little garlic cloves ready to go in the garlic press. Everything else ready to kind of just shovel in, if you get me. Um, I thought I'd show you my outfit of the day, guys. Oh look, we've got Elmo on the potty. This is just great that they happen to have a little potty training Elmo thing. Oh look, his, his pants has fallen down, guys. That's not very good, is it? But you click his hand. Let me give you a demonstration. Oh, I'll show you later with Amber. She'll love showing you that when she wakes up. So today's outfit of the day, day 20. <laughs> Literally, you press his arm once and I forgot that he keeps talking until, unless you obey his commands, which is to give him a drink. Actually, I've lost his little bottle thing. Oh my gosh, Elmo's more demanding than my kids. Where's the drink? I don't know, I'm gonna have to find that in a minute, otherwise Elmo's not gonna be happy, okay? Day 20 or day 30 now? of not wearing leggings and a jumper. It's the little challenge I'm doing over on my Instagram. Today's outfit that isn't leggings and a jumper or just something, you know, like my revert to outfits when I'm just like, I can't find anything I feel comfortable in. I've been doing this for 30 days now. I've been waking up, thinking about my outfits, trying different things that are in my closets, just trying different styles. Like we're wearing so many different textures and I'm loving life. That was today's outfit of the day. I brought you over here to make a cuppa with me. I'm just sweating. I feel like no matter how little amount of clothes I wear, I'm just sweating at the moment. Um, oh, that is sunny too. Shimmy you over this way a bit. Oh, and the other thing that I was going to show you, literally just put it here so I didn't forget, was when we were on holiday, it was Father's Day, so I planned, if you've followed me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this on my Instagram stories, um, but I kept getting influenced by like ads on Instagram. I've been, in, like, I feel like I went, I've been on social media seven years, and I feel like, I have not been influenced by a social media ad the whole time I've worked on social media influencer as an influencer, I hate that word. Lately, I feel like my ads are just targeting me to a whole new level of how I need targeting because I'm just seem to be buying every single thing that comes up um, and gets promoted. So for Father's Day, I fell into the trap twice and I ordered two things for James for Father's Day that I saw on Instagram ads. Um, and one of them didn't come in time. 
uh, but the other one did and it was oh, just the best thing ever honestly guys this was by this little brand as well it was so funny because i posted um that's the brand there i think they've they've given me a discount code actually i know they gave it to my instagram followers i'll just triple check it's still working i think it is and i'll pop it in the description it's honestly the cutest book ever it literally makes me cry but this brand because it was like an instagram ad i posted on my story like you know oh i've just ordered this i don't know if it's a scam because i i never like i feel like i wanted to tell people about it but I hadn't ordered from the brand or like ever heard of the brand so I didn't want to tell people to buy it without actually like knowing anything so I was like I don't know if it's a scam so if they're going to steal all our money they'll at least be stealing it all together but anyway I tagged them and was like oh this is the brand if anyone wants to look at it and they DM'd me like hi we're not a scam we're legit I was like oh I felt bad then but um yeah their stuff is so nice and well this book is just lovely also before anyone says anything I have already ordered one for Mabel I just wanted to check that the first one arrived and was legit um but yes I have ordered one for Mabel before anyone says anything I showed this on my Instagram story and everyone was like Mabel's gonna be so upset seeing that I was like guys don't stress me out I've already got enough mum guilt but yeah I did order I had already ordered her one I just think they'll be really nice like to I have this idea that I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with them but basically it's uh orange is amber talking and like blue is dad and then um, yeah it just like shows all this stuff about like you're amazing you're amazing and then she grows up a bit she grows into a little girl and then it's just like sometimes we do get upset with a bit each other it's a bit upset with each other but you can't stay mad at me for long and then this page we laugh together a lot till our tummies hurt this one really like made me emotional because it's so true like daddy 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 mummy 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 and the, like the little there the amber show they personalize it see you choose like what your characters look like and like their names and stuff and then i know i should cherish every moment but sometimes it's hard and that's us on our phones and i just it just it's just so true it's just so true the book just got me in my feels guys Growing up this page i can't like literally i can't because amber's here and soon she's going to be here and i just i can't like guys i just can't it makes me emotional and then look you totally won't be the funniest person on the planet anymore Oh, guys and right at the end then she moves out and then they still cherish and look back on all their memories together and then it's called lost for words basically and the the first thing on the first page is dear amber the first time i held you i learned how it felt to be truly lost for words and then right at the end it brings it back because amber in the book has a baby and it says in the far off future who knows you two might make a little person feel truly loved and then Amber says, and I too will finally know how it feels to be truly lost for words. Ah, I'm done. No, I'm actually crying again. Oh, wait, let me just make the rest of my tea. I did love the book, to be fair. And I gave, I took the book with us on holiday, which was quite sweet, actually, because it was Father's Day, our last day um, in Portugal, when we went out for that shoot. Ooh. I don't even know if you can hear me, because James is lawnmower. <laughs> it's so loud. I feel like I had other things to catch you guys up on, too. Okay, got my cup of tea. Gonna sit down for five minutes. Oh, and you know what I just did? I'm really nervous about this, guys. I'll actually sit, stand here and chat with you. And oh my god, I've been recording for 12 minutes. I'll just keep talking. I'm just watching James, James Law mowing topless in the garden. It's a great day. Both girls napping, having my cup of tea, watching James Law mower topless. I just, so I feel very nervous about this. I've never done anything like a podcast or anything live like i always get kind of asked to do like interviews and things like that over the years because i've been doing social media for seven years now and over the years i've had lots of requests for things like that and i have just like it's always been a look sorry i'm too anxious it doesn't i just can't i can't do it i don't know why people find it so crazy because i'm literally posting about my blooming pelvic floor we and myself doing any you know all my body positivity confidence stuff to hundreds of thousands of people on my story and on my Instagram every day, but I can't even think about just doing like an interview. <laughs> so it doesn't really make sense, but it's like my safe place social media. I've been doing it for so long. It's a safe place to me, um, even though I know the internet's wild and crazy. It just feels like I just know what I'm doing on there. I just feel safe. I can talk to you guys about anything. I've got a community, it's all good. Hi. Oh, I just said you're topless. You put your top on of you to come in. Oh, made a cup of tea without asking you. Is there a spare cup of tea going anywhere? <laughs> I can't really see one. 
Oh, I just thought you wouldn't want one because you were so busy in the garden. Oh, it's lovely that was. Let me make you one. Hey. I thought you'd be too hot. Cools you down, come the tea tonight and cools you down. I'm sweating in here, you must be boiling out there. That is warm. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is the lightful day. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes. But don't worry about it, you can make it <laughs> now. There's a lot of effort. Oh, I'm awful. I didn't even make it up. Oh, our nice mugs in the dishwasher, are they? Have I no, shown? Did I show you guys my little mugs? They are, well, they should be done. Mm. When we oh, oh let me just show them. Oh, let me just show them. When we went away, yeah, they have got tea and coffee stains in them. Um, to car to cardigan for my mum's 60th birthday. There was this really cute little pottery shop. Oh, hang on one second. <laughs> I feel like I'm hectic. I've got to clear the memory card. One second, guys. I'll be back. Back. When we went to cardigan for my mum's 60th, there was this little pottery. Like there was this man that basically had his house. And he started doing pottery. We were talking to him about the pottery. We went to the pottery shop. And then he built this little pottery shed off his house. And then he did so much pottery, he decided to give up his job. And like, he knocked through the front of the shed and turned it into like a little shop. So he sells his pottery there. And, and everyone was saying, no, you've got to go and see it. And each one of us, so I've got three siblings, so it's four of us and my parents. We all ended up going down there and being like, and getting something and then someone would come back and we'd be like oh okay and we all got inspired by each other's pottery <laughs> collecting stuff so we all ended up going down there and getting pottery um but this is the stuff that me and james picked up so we got that is not that is um just part of tea dribble uh but yeah they're these really lovely like even here nice textured asmr a little textured vibe then i went for this one a bit bigger size reference, lovely. Then we also got this, so nice. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that was a bit of a sidetrack because I'm making James a cup of tea. What I was saying was, since I've been on social media, I've not done anything. I've just been too anxious. It just, no, I just say no to everything. Um, but when I released or when I got asked by HarperCollins, the publishers, to do my journal with them. Well, they originally asked me if I wanted to do a book and I went back saying, I'd love to do a journal, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard this. My plan reflect repeat journal slash planner is coming out in um, August. I'm sure that lawnmower is louder. Oh, the grass looks lovely. Really nice. I love a freshly lawn mowed grass. Yeah, my book is releasing on August 17th. I know it's already on Amazon for pre-order as I was telling you guys in a recent vlog um, and also thank you so much when I posted about the um, book originally on my Instagram and um, it was went into the bestsellers and I was so like excited and they messaged me HarperCollins the publishers and they were like oh we're really excited about that like it's done really well and I was like just so grateful um, and then I was saying to you guys in the vlog the other day you got like the rubbish version of the announcement without the balloons and without the, all things I was just like guys I've released a planner and I chatted you through it and I didn't think anything of it and then after the vlog it went into the best sellers again and I was like I don't know I just wasn't expecting that so obviously so many of you did go and pre-order it and I'm just very very grateful and so just mainly so excited for you guys I have brewed your seeds, darling. It's okay. only just gotten brewed, though. I'm going on the front now. Okay, are you doing the front lawns? The front lawns. The front lawns. 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 Yeah, about this big. Um, <laughs> don't cut them too short, darling. They're burning. They are. They've, They've already gone short. brown. Cut the brown layer off. Yeah. That's brown now. That looks lovely. Really yeah. nice. I'll show That's you. I'll, I'll show you guys. Okay. Give me a little lawn mowed grass vibe there it does go very brown our lawn i don't know how we can stop it we've tried several things nothing's really worked so we just we let it we let it age naturally in the sun yeah so thank you guys so much for pre-ordering the planet and I, like i was saying i'm just so excited for you to get it what i was trying to say this has gone into like loads of different little pathways is when i was speaking to hopper collins about the release of the book and it coming out they were saying how they'd really love to do some sort of, you know, publicity around the book, whether it be, you know, doing interviews or, you know, they could set me up with some different things like that. And I was just like, oh, my heart was fluttering. I was like, look, I don't, I think that's Mabel. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, sweetie. Look at you in your little dress. Guys, I've waited so long to put her in this little check dress and she's in it. And you look amazing. Look at you. 
Hello. <laughs> yes, long story short, guys, because I can hear Ambrose waking up on the monitor too. <laughs> Just when I get to the point of the story, I was going to be telling you both babies are waking up, but it's fine. The long story short was just that this podcast then got in touch. So I basically thought, all right, I'll use this journal as a chance. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do my first thing. Whatever comes my way, I'm going to think about it and not just say no immediately. I'm going to do it. And so this podcast got in touch called The Self Love Club. And they were like, well, we'd love to, you know, have you on the podcast to talk about self love and the journal and all of that. And I just thought, you know what? How can I say no? It's called The Self Love Club. If I can talk about anything, and ramble about anything, you guys know it is self-love. I could talk about it so much and I'm so passionate about it. And um, yeah, I just, I, I can't wait to go on it. I'm incredibly nervous. I had a phone call with them. I'm still talking. Hello chatterbox. I know, I'm still talking. Hey, give a change of scene every now and then. How about a bit of James time? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Tea, yeah, sugar is yes, in this packet, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, because mm. well, there's no the camera, but camera it is also resting. Pot. I did tell you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a phone call with them. <laughs> Hi guys. You can't even see my eye. Um, I just had a phone call with them, and I just because I, I wanted to like speak to them before and just like get a vibe about the podcast and everything and they were just so lovely yeah. I just thought you know what I'm just going to take it in my stride I'm just going to do it now and I'm just going to enjoy it I've got to do you know push myself further and further with my anxiety oh Amber's up Amber's awake I know what I just said um, she's, <laughs> she's literally just stirring so yeah anyway I'm going to go and get Amber now I'm doing the podcast I'm going to go and get Amber you're going to go and get Amber I'm going to go and get Amber I'm going to go and get Amber no, I'm going to but she's so cute when she Take wakes up. It. Hello. Oh. Oh. You don't want to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Are you laughing? Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah. Right, so James and Amber are off to do some bouncing on the trampoline. Duh. <laughs> I'm going to take my tea with me. <laughs> Bounce, 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 bounce. Have fun! Oh, we're only allowed to I'm walk on there. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, I get you! I get you! I get you! So, James and Amber are on the trampoline. Me and Mabel are gonna go and have a little look around the garden. No. <laughs> Careful! We've got rules. We're only allowed to slow bounce and walk because otherwise, from my childhood experience, you'll get double bounce and fly off the trampoline. Even though I know there's a net, but still, it's just safer to mini bounce. And this one. And you. I love watching you in the garden too. Hello. Hello. You sniffing Mabel's legs. You are such a cutie, Mills. And you love sitting in the garden, don't you? It's your favourite thing to do. It's your favourite thing to do. It is. <gasps> this is a gorgeous day. I don't know if we ever showed it. We probably did. But we bought this fancy little coffee machine um, quite a while ago now. And to be honest, guys, it's been a little bit of a disaster. It makes good coffee when I get it right. Um, but I rarely seem to be able to get it right. I've already kind of clogged up... Um, the, the double uh, filter coffee thing. Um, so that doesn't work anymore. And I am having a bit of a mare with it. Um, but I do like it when it works. And today I'm gonna try and make some nice coffees. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it's not working. Oh, okay, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Oh, one side. Hey, look at that. Cam, it's on that um, holiday we just got off. You were living in the espresso machine, weren't you? I was. She actually felt like a proper cool girl. I got obsessed with the Nespresso machine. I just yeah. wanted to have one every day. I had my decaf coffees. Because okay, I'm just, so the more, if it's decaf, you can have more a day and they just taste so nice. I have like. Doesn't stop me having lots of caffeine. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm so bright here all the time. That's why you're so spring. Energetic. You have so much energy. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is not going to go well. Okay. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a bit full, probably. I should have put more ice in. That's not actually going to be that cold. Then we just top it up with milk, shall we? Do you like coffee? Uh, oh, my favourite uh, bit! Uh, my favourite bit! Uh, oh, oh, that's satisfying! Oh, oh yes! Great camera work, Daddy! <laughs> I want 
chocolate biscuit. Where did you see one of them? There. Oh, oh that looks like a packet of biscuits. This is coffee granules, it's baby. Coffee. You wouldn't like that. That's not gonna taste Does like it smell nice? Biscuit. To be fair, I think it's just happening. Oh no. Just have hints of chocolate. Oh, God, listen, no, you look like an addict. <laughs> Sniffing caffeine. <laughs> Nana. Nana. Orange. Orange? Are you telling them guys, are you? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? It's the weirdest thing, Amber. You know, we were looking. This is so weird, guys. <laughs> You're reaching for your orange. There it is. There. There. Hmm. We were just looking for Elmo's cup, weren't we? Me and James heard a clatter. We turned around to Mabel on her mat, and Elmo's cup. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> Over there. I don't know where this came from. Honestly, me and Amber were just oh look, goodness, looking for this. Oh my gosh, dropping it again. Was it you? Did you throw it? Did you? Were you? You were playing on your mat and then suddenly this appears. Where did it come from? Where did it go? It must have been like, I don't know, here or something. And then she must have like flinged it because it literally just went boom like that. And me and James both, both looked at... Yeah, was it you? Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes, I hope you're happy and you know it. Gone. Always running, toddlers. Always off somewhere. Where's Amber? <laughs> <laughs> no, clap your hands. Oh, my girls, if you're happy, you know it, clap your hands. Woo, woo! If you're happy, you know it. If you really want to say. If you're happy, you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> what song does Amber know? Okay, never mind, we like to get messy, don't we? Pour it into the thing. Whoa, nice! You've actually got really good aim. So Last we're making step the, of the pie. pie. So 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 we 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 with these meals, we mash the potatoes with the skin still on, okay? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that still, because I quite like it. Yeah. But like obviously it's not that is it normal? I wouldn't say it's that normal. They say on the recipe keep the skin on if you yeah, want. It says it's a truck, that's what I mean. Yeah. But most people wouldn't would Really? They? I don't Ooh, know. I wonder. Like, you wouldn't have this in a restaurant. Because in my family, like we always keep the skin on. Yeah, see, and now I would. I always would now. Yeah, but is like, it normal? I don't think it is normal. If I tried to serve that to my dad, who's a rather really? festive eater, he would probably refuse to eat it with the skin on. We went to a lovely I swear hotel. That's normal. Didn't yeah, go we? On. And my parents came. And we ate in the hotel every night because we were on half board and the food was really good. And my dad kind of got by and then he got very excited eating a sausage roll in the airport from Soho Coffee. More excited than he was. He was like, oh, that's a good sausage roll that is. Oh, that's lovely. And I was like, you haven't said like, anything about the food. Anything as good as that. It's yeah. always been like, yeah, it's okay. He's a simple, he just loves the simple things in life. He you does. can't blame him. So pie is done. We've just taken a bit out and put it into Amber's bowl so it can cool down. We always do that. We put like Amber's aside so it can cool down and like mash it up for her and cool it down so then we can all eat together. You're going to do roly polies with Mabel? Oh, you're doing tummy time. That's very good, guys. Whoa! James is running the bath, me and Amber and Mabel are making houses, and there's the roof! I just love seeing Amber and Mabel play together. It's just like the best thing ever, like even at this age, just not even playing Pencil together. But... What? Hey, Thank you, baby. What are you making? Oh, I found two more. Thank you. I found four more. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Sayu. Who saw you? And tell your mummy give it me and show you. And say thank you. Yeah. Why are you saying saw you? Mummy give it to you and then you say thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but why are you saying saw you then? Mm. What's saw you? Mm. What, mummy gives it to you like this? 
I've got two for you, please. Yes, I am. <laughs> Is that meant to be a funny way of saying thank you? Blue one's for you. Thank you, Sayu. So you can figure out what she's saying. Thank you, Sayu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sayu. Sayu, what's yeah. that? You're teasing me. Sayu. You know I like to know exactly what you're saying and I like, can't so, figure it out. Sayu. What does it mean? Sayu. Sayu. Where did you hear that? Sayu. Who is it? No, oh, Mabel doesn't know what it is either. We don't like it. We like to know, don't we, baby? So, it is ten past eight. I've just got out on a dog walk. The girls are both down. Well, I hope they're still down. I'm just definitely dead. I can get her up on my phone. Yes, feeling a little bit tired, but I'm going to try and have a little jog on my dog walk with Mila. Stretch the legs out. Haven't been able to gym or do exercise since, you know we've been home from holiday you know guys you know obviously why am i even telling you well so i haven't been able to obviously time's been a little bit restricted there's quite a few things going on and i've chosen not to prioritize it and you know chosen in the evenings instead to kind of chill out a bit watch some telly but i haven't taken the dog yet today it's taking it tonight it's nice and cool now so um i actually put the sleepless top on and then i walked out the front door and i thought it's actually too cool now it's not warm enough to be wearing a sleepless top so, went back in. I'm out of breath already, guys. Don't know how I think I'm going to run up this hill. But, wish me luck. This is the most rambly bit of vlogging I have ever done. Okay. Actually had a really good run. Felt really good. Um, I often find... Ooh, bit of a tight bit. I often find that... Didn't run through this bit, that's for sure. A bit brambly. I often find that at times that you kind of do exercise, but... Um, you're not really feeling it, you're feeling tired. You have such low standards for that exercise. And I set myself like relatively low goals. And then if you hit those goals, like you feel great. Or if you succeed those, you know, um, achieve in excess of those goals, if that's the right word in, then obviously you feel even better. Whereas sometimes like you're so pumped to exercise and you feel like you've got so much energy and then you set yourself like these crazy ridiculous goals. Like, you know, for me, a crazy ridiculous goal would be, you know, I'm gonna run five kilometers really fast without stopping. And it's like, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to achieve that. Like I'm trying to, you know, every time I go running, I, you know, I try and get closer to, to you know, a longer term goal, but, I'm not gonna achieve that like just randomly one day just because I feel like I've got loads of energy and I feel really good. And then it's those times that you don't, you know, you might have just your completely normal run and you feel like, you know, a bit of a failure and you feel rubbish about your exercise. So I think kind of doing exercise when you're feeling overall um, a little bit rubbish, sometimes the best time to do it. And I've walked this route before and um, it's never been this overgrown. So, and it gets to this point on walks, doesn't it? That you start thinking, do I keep fighting through? Or do I turn around and go back? But, and then you feel confident, like, oh, it's opening up a bit. This is gonna be fine. And then it'll close up again and you regret life. And then you're like, is it too late to go back? Should I keep powering through? And then you just end up in a right pickle, kind of stuck between brambles. Ooh, look at that evening glow. Stepping into the, that's too bright. <laughs> Stepping into the sun. So James has, I'm gonna get a water bottle or some sort of water for myself. James has just come back with the dog. Um, he's just jumping in the shower and I am popping out to the gym. Girls are in bed, girls are asleep, my hair's so greasy. The sun is sunning. Okay, you're coming with me. I got the key to the gym. Going back inside. This gym outfit cracks me up because it kind of reminds me of like school uniform vibes, like, you know, like a school uniform skirt, but it's actually like my, honestly, one of my favorite things to work out in. It's got the shorts underneath, which are literally attached. It's a score. And then this is like a really stretchy, flowy material. And then I just wear it with like, either like a sports bra or this like baggy top or a tight, like top cami thing. I just, I just love it. Right, we are knackered. 
So, it is now 10 o'clock. We're going to head to bed. We're absolutely knackered. It's 25 past 10. We've had a very productive day today. Have we? 25 past, oh my gosh, 25 past 10. I really need to get to bed. Fair, we have, yeah, we've had a good contract day, but apart from that, it's been... Well, a clean wedding after two kids because Mabel's just so fast now. Oh, Mabel's so Honestly, fast. We've got to like, sprint after her. It's just crazy. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to love you and leave you guys and see you very soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Love you guys lots. Bye. Bye.